Okay, so I've talked about Flex.io or mentioned it in prior videos, um, even went so far as maybe to talk about a little bit of the differences, but I wanted to devote a video just talking about Flex.io, some of the options, some of the differences, primarily so that you're aware so that when you are out there looking to perhaps, um, I don't know, maybe change out the VGA on your um, uh, Elite Desk to HDMI or to DisplayPort or USB-C or something like that, you kind of know what's out there, um, what to look for, um, what will work with what type of unit, etc. Um, so first kind of a history. It started out um, really with the G2. The G1 had no way of um, changing the ports. The G2 had what they call a expansion board. And with these, you could do uh, DisplayPort, you could do HDMI, and I believe you could also do Serial. And with these, this is a G2. This is the um, e expansion board. This particular one is the HDMI. You'll see it's got a screw here. Oh, I guess it's just the one. And the shape looks like this. So it's kind of, I don't know what you call it, maybe an S, something like that. Um, as opposed to the uh, Flex IO that came later which is more uh, blockish. So if you're wanting to add something to your G2, you're gonna look for these expansion boards. Um, pretty easy, take the screw out, it kind of pops. It also kind of snaps in there. Um, you might, let's see, that's right. With these, you're going to have to remove the heat sink in order to get to it, because I did forget there is one other screw just underneath here that you're going to have to um, uh, use to put in. So as you look on this, you get the one and then the others. Um, I mean, I remember the first time I was trying to put one in and I was, well, how do I get to it? Well, yeah, you got to take this out. You may also want to take out the uh, caddy just to give yourself any extra space around here. Just going to make it easier to, to get it in there. So that was the expansion board. Uh, check out the uh, service manual for the G2 to, to see how those go in there. Now, the G3 has, in essence, right here, this is the Flex.io first generation, the, the v, V1, I guess you'd call it. And um, that's where it would have Normally, HDMI, well, probably more often than not, the display port would be right here. Um, and But strangely enough, when you go, there's a, um, a PDF I found that lists all the various um, Flex IOs that you can buy. It never lists the G3 as being a unit that it works with. Um, most of your... Um, Flex IO V1 are going to fit in here. The problem though, there's just a couple. I think maybe there's a Thunderbolt one. Um, the problem is that if they're too square, then they're, this post right here is going to get in the way. With the um, G4, G5, this post is a little farther down here. Or actually, I think it's maybe it's slightly in. So you can fit more in here. But... Again, if you see most of these, uh, probably the ones that you would want would be most likely the um, uh, HDMI or VGA, uh, those kinds of ones. You could uh, they're going to fit in your your G3. It's just not going to be listed officially in the list, but no, they they definitely work. So that's the um, uh, generation uh, one. Now, interesting enough. There is one of these that only works 
on the G4 and 35 watt. Let me show you that one. Okay, this is the USB-C with power delivery. It will only work with the 35 watt. And I th was going, well, why? Well, it's got this cable that connects to a little um, port here. I always thought, in most cases, that the 35 watt and the 65 watt of most of the units are completely identical as far as the motherboard. But I went on eBay, looked up some 65 watt G4s. There is not this block here. It's just it's just smooth. There is not a place to plug this in. So this particular one will not work. I believe there's another USB-C one, but it just um, that will work with this. But this particular one that talks about the power delivery specifically calls out that you have to have the 35 watt, and you got to make sure you've got that connector in order for that to work. Um, I haven't used this for much. Supposedly, you could um, run the, if you were to get a power bank that put out, um, I guess, 65 watts, you probably could plug this in uh, to the back here uh, for the USB-C and get it to work. So that's, again, still it's a version one Flex IO, but it's very specific to this particular uh, model. So I wanna note, this is, we're still still looking at, at a um, uh, v, V1. Uh, j this will also work in the G5. Just so, I mean, because again, the G4 and G5 are pretty much the same unit. Um, they just like, to, you know, they just, <laughs> just like to call them different. So once we hit the G6 and above, they started putting out what they call the uh, V2 version. Now, it looks very close in terms of, you see they both have the screw holes here and screw ho holes there. But I can tell you because I got this one by mistake and there's a video that shows it just, the screw holes are just ever so slightly off and they will not fit um, in the G4 and G5. And that's because this is made for the G6 and above. Now, one interesting thing is that these HP didn't sell them just for the minis. You could get some of the larger units like the towers, I think the um, small form factors, other ones. I mean, I, I, there's, I've seen videos where the person had a, literally a huge normal uh, desktop and it still used this. And so down at the bottom, you have to take out a couple things but down there in the on the motherboard and and on the outside of the unit, you push in a um, a piece of metal, pop it out. You go down, you stick this on the motherboard, screw it down the same way, and now you've got it, which was rather interesting, I guess, as opposed to getting a a PCI uh, card or something else. I guess their idea is that they were going to make all these and um, you know market it for just eight you know hps in general is a pretty good idea because um especially if you're a business and you're um you know you've got different sizes for um you know maybe you've got your minis your small form factors you got your towers etc you just have to buy these a bunch of these and you could use them in the different places so now the other thing with the g6 is it actually has two um flex io there's a second one called it's called V2 and it's called second um, port or second flex IO. Uh, there's only a couple very specialized ones. I'm going to show um, on the uh, specs or on the PDF uh, what those look like. But the only one I've seen for sale is that you could get a serial port, which uh, I I guess, you know, there, there could be some need for it. But... Um, yeah, so in, uh, you could then have two of these. You could have this for your, let's say, your HDMI, and then the secondary one you could use. Now, I believe, looking at some forums, is that there are other ones you can get for that second, but it was something that you had to pay for 
um, or order from the factory when you first got your unit. So those could be very difficult to find. You're probably not going to find those specific ones after market. You might see them inside of a you know a G G6 or or you know G9 forward. Um, let me get the video and or the video or the uh, PDF and show you what that one looks like. Okay, so let me first show. This is the um, showing again that uh, um, that Flex IO the the USB C, and you'll notice if I scroll here in the specs, it literally then calls out that it'll only work with the um, 35 watt. Um, if I go down and I look at the Thunderbolt. You'll see here it's much larger, and it, that was would not work in a G3. You're going to hit that post, and it's not going to work for you. Uh, let's see. We want to look for the Flexio V2. Um, so let's see here. So here's an example of some of the the. Um, quite interesting ones that you could do with the, um, if you had a, G, a G6 and were using it, this, you could add even more, I guess, um, USB-C, excuse me, not USB-C, USB-A ports to it. Um, now here is the one that's called the Flexio Second uh, V2. And notice it's got a different kind of shape uh, on the outside, you can see on the back of the G6. So this is where your normal um, V2 version of Flexio would, this would be like where your HDMI port, etc., might be. This is that one called the second. Uh, and this is where you would put in the, um, uh, something like the, uh, the serial, um, as far as the secondary one and I believe yeah they just call it optional port I think there was let's look at some of the options that you could do with those so looking at the normal flex IO these were some of the options that you could order um, some of those we saw uh, wow even um, type a super speed USB 10 uh, 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 gigabits per second, uh, a 2.5 gigabit uh, network connection. That's what all would go in here for the G6. Now for the secondary one, uh, looks like you could put in a small GPU. That I seems like that would definitely be something maybe that you would need at from the um, uh, the vendor already in. But uh, again. I looked around and I couldn't find uh, a lot of that stuff for sale. Um, the only one I found was this one, was the serial port. Uh, looks like, uh, again, some sort of um, high speed uh, signaling rate port, USB. I guess that's a, a real um, specialized one. So that would fit in there. Um, Interesting enough, oh, maybe that's what that, this is right here is the uh, dual port. That's what this uh, um, USB 480. Let's show what that looks like on the inside. Here's a better view of what that, um, that secondary uh, Flex IO card would look like. And so this is kind of the, the view as far as the, the orientation that it would be. Um, added into the system. These are the screws that would be holding it down. This is a cable that connects into the motherboard. This is kind of the reverse um, uh, as far as it goes in. This is the, um, here's an example of actual motherboard. You can see where there's this guy here, this black connector. And that's where it would um, fit in. So conceivably, you take these two screws out, um, and I guess you'd probably just remove this faceplate because uh, it looks like that other one would just take the place of it. And then the cable would connect into here. And then that's how you'd have your second uh, Flex IO. Hopefully, this has been useful. This way, when you're ordering, uh, I know. Um, I've been burnt myself uh, ordering the wrong thing because I didn't understand exactly what went with what. Uh, that's how I ended up with that um, 
uh, V2 HDMI. Um, so a lot of times you have to really look at it, uh, look at the picture, because sometimes the seller doesn't understand what they're selling either, and they may um, be putting information that's not uh, correct. So look at it, look at the part numbers, uh, make sure that it's going to work with your unit.